as we know without water any animal or any uh, organism can't survive in the world so my uh, research area is water basically i worked on uh, water pollution and how to control some pollutant uh, in water so i started my research career in 1992 and uh, so i work with national and international uh, agencies uh, the, so when consider about water uh, the water pollution takes place in different way uh, the point and non point uh, sources are major uh, problem uh, for water pollution especially uh, in my research uh, field so i basically uh, concentrate about uh, water pollution and uh, some uh, xenobiotic uh, chemicals in water and also some toxins natural and artificial toxins uh, in water uh, especially uh, the country like sri lanka so uh, the most of uh, water bodies uh, used in our country for drinking purposes and uh, agricultural purposes and also we use lot of chemicals pesticides and uh, different type of artificial chemicals for agriculture and finally what happened all these chemical come into uh, surface runoff and final destination is a water body so most of these chemicals accumulate through the food chain and finally concentrate very high concentration in uh, trophic levels so sri lanka we have a uh, uh, lot of environmental and health problem for an example uh, most of our water body contaminated with cyanotoxins this cyanotoxins so if we allow to consume this contaminated water so this cyanotoxin uh, at the initial stage uh, it uh, cause some tumors and this tumors lead into cancer so in my research uh, so i am now trying to introduce some ecologically important uh, and the friendly microorganism to uh, to remove these toxins uh, so uh, i have isolated bacterial strains collaborate collaboration with some international agencies uh, universities and uh, we could uh, uh, publish this bacteria as a world first record so now we are using the biotechnology uh, to uh, produce some enzymes which can degrade uh, these toxins and also uh, uh, nowadays we are uh, facing some problems uh, about the antibiotic resistance actually uh, the unregulated uh, manner and uh, so we use uh, different type of antibiotics for animal as well as human and uh, this unregulated uh, uh, condition cause all these antibiotics get into the environment and uh, produce resistant bacteria so then we identified a lot of uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria all over the country and uh, i think uh, this type of research may help to uh, to develop our uh, strategies in medical sector and also uh, uh, our team uh, we uh, study about uh, how to use some uh, uh, aquatic organisms to produce some vitamins and some medically important chemicals or antibiotics and now we have already started uh, some work to extract these type of important chemicals from aquatic organisms uh, so uh, in our team we have uh, received lot of national and international grants the nrc grants for uh, three phd's and national science foundation grant for a phd and uh, and another grant from medical research institute so all these uh, uh, the grant collaborate with other institutes as well and also the university of sri jayawardena pura also provided lot of facilities to 
uh, enhance the research activities of this department and uh, um, basically uh, uh, we are uh, we are uh, doing some research uh, in Kalani River Basin so this is very important because Kalani River is the most important river in Sri Lanka and uh, most of people in the river basin depend on the groundwater therefore uh, so we think the proper management is very important to uh, to protect our groundwater and uh, we have started uh, some work and we found that uh, most of our groundwater uh, points i mean the groundwater samples contaminated with uh, important path pathogens uh, health important pathogens and pesticides so therefore it is very important and we have to discuss these issues in the future and also uh, the university uh, through the fi uh, finding of this research uh, supposed to propose some uh, strategies to the government to protect our water bodies. So thank you very much.